In 2010, Barbara Tom had brain surgery that successfully removed a benign tumor. Weeks later, she was back in the hospital fighting a life-threatening infection called CRE. I think the most traumatic part was seeing the infectious disease doctor and going in to see him, and he says, we have to admit you, and I want you to go to the hospital right now. Don't stop for supper. Don't stop for anything. CRE infections develop during medical care when bacteria normally found in the digestive tract develop antibiotic resistance and move to other parts of the body. So if you look at the Dr. Lance Peterson studies hospital-acquired infections. The danger of CRE is that when it happens, it's very, very difficult to treat and very dangerous if it happens to get into our bloodstream. Half of the bloodstream infections are fatal. CRE was first identified in the United States in 2001. Now CRE has been found in 4.6 percent of all hospitals and 18 percent of hospitals providing long-term acute care. Only nine states have mandatory reporting laws for CRE. And we're seeing about two per month right now coming in from the community, uh, either other hospitals or nursing homes, so it is clearly more prevalent than it used to be. Normally, it takes days to identify a positive case by growing bacteria in the lab. But North Shore has developed a special DNA test that finds CRE in just two to three hours. Three years after getting infected, Barbara Tom is still taking antibiotics. I have it. I can't get rid of it. I don't know what the future will be. CRE is still relatively rare compared to other hospital-acquired infections, so the CDC believes hospitals should put in aggressive programs now to limit further spread. Prevention is key because there is no effective antibiotic treatment. Recovery depends largely on a patient's immune system. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York.